Okay, this is a tutorial on how I made this beautiful prom dress. This is only my second dress and this is my first YouTube video, so bear with me, please. So first I started with my pattern. I'm using Karen M Customs. I'm using her mermaid gown pattern. Um, for the skirt, I did adjust the waist to hip. So instead of an eight, I did a, um, I used seven and a half. Um, and then this is the, the top. And I'm just tracing that. That is a medium. I made it to fit my mannequin, who's a size eight. But these are the measurements that I pretty much followed. I did make her waist just a little bit bigger. But yes, I'm just tracing and outlining. Um, I did take in the hip measurement just a tiny bit uh, because she's not that curvy. And you see me outlining that now. And then I just cut, cut the paper. And I'm gonna use this for my front and back pattern. All right, and I'm using my blue sequin fabric and I just folded it over. And now I'm placing my skirt in my top. I did transfer that paper onto interfacing. Um, and now I'm just cutting it out. And I did leave a little bit of seam allowance around the armhole. You see me doing that now in the neckline just because I did have to hem those areas. And I didn't include it in the pattern. And here I'm cutting space for the zipper. And now I'm cutting my skirt. Okay, and now I'm cutting out my mesh. I'm also cutting that on fold. You can see me pinning that down now. Um, I used my rotary cutter just because I wanted a nice clean cut because I wasn't going to hem the mesh. So I did use my rotary cutter so it looks a little more neat. And this is my top pattern. I'm gonna take all of that stuff to my sewing machine. Um, here I'm pinning the armhole. I did do like a double fold. And I'm pinning the armhole and the neckline like I mentioned earlier. And then I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine. I'm gonna sew right here, right there. And then on my sewing machine, um, I used a little less than a quarter of an inch of seam allowance and I use a straight stitch you see that a nice clean finish now I'm doing the neckline, same thing, straight stitch, less than a quarter of an inch of seam allowance. And now I'm placing my zipper. I'm also put a ribbon on the back just so it wouldn't stretch and have that wavy look um i did the zipper off camera but if you want a tutorial on that just let me know and now this is my skirt and my bodice and i just flipped the bodice over laid them good size to good side or right side to right side and then i pin um, on the bottom, I had the mesh because I had a brown bobbin ready. So I used, I put the mesh on the bottom just so I could use the brown thread just so it could look, you know, neat. And 
and then I just sew right across there. Um, I did use a zigzag stitch and I also sewed at a quarter of an inch of seam allowance. And then when I flip it over, you're going to see that you can see the sequin do the mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flip it back towards the skirt and then top stitch so you don't see that, you know, piece. And I did use a straight stitch as well. And about a little less than a quarter of an inch of seam allowance, just so you can see it. And I'm making sure that I catch it on the other side. And this is what it looks like. Now you can't see the sequin on the other side. And now I'm going to put the front, um, pin the back of the dress to the front of the dress, which you see me doing now. I'm doing it at the arm, the um, arm hole seam at the top, or that shoulder seam. And then I just pin all the way down. This is where I sewed, right across there and there. And I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I used a zigzag stitch with about, I think I did a quarter of an inch of seam allowance here as well. Um, but I did back stitch a lot because I couldn't use my serger. So I was a little nervous. So I did back stitch a lot. Every time I hit a pin, back stitch. And again, same thing, you can see the sequin on the other side of the mesh. So I just flip it back and then I top stitch all the way down that seam. And now I'm doing the train. So I used Karen M's, her circle skirt template and I followed that. So I placed the template and then I marked 45 inches all the way down and then I put a pin as you see me doing, I go to the top, I mark 45 inches, put a pin, and I just kept doing that until the end of the fabric, and the fabric is on fold. And then I'm gonna cut all around those pins. And then I'm gonna cut the semicircle at the top. And then I cut off that velvet edge that it had, because I didn't need that. And I'm just taking my pins out, because um, I wanted to see what it looked like. And this is what the front half looked like. And then I just laid it right on top of the fabric. I put it on fold again, and I just laid that right on top. Making sure it's nice and flat. And then I just cut around there. And again, I'm cutting off that velvet piece. And then cutting that semicircle. And this is what the front half looked like. That's how wide it was. And then I just put the back half right on top. And this is where I'm going to sew. I'm going to sew that side seam and then sew the other side. And then you're just going to leave that semicircle open. And I'm just pinning right where I gestured. And then I took that to my sewing machine. And I think I did a quarter of an inch of seam allowance. And I did the horse hair off camera and this is me trying it on because I was really excited and I really wanted to see <laughs> so this is what that looked like 
all right and then to attach them i just put the skirt the circle skirt inside of the dress skirts and then i fold the dress back so i can catch those layers and i match the seams on the side that's what you see me doing and then i have those Two pieces and you see they're good sides to good sides and I start with pinning the side seams making sure they match and then I just pinned all around that circle basically and then you're gonna sew all the way around and I did do my stitches closest close together and then I did a wide stitch because I didn't want the sequins, you know, poking out and it to be itchy. And this is what the base of the dress looked like. With the horse hair zipper, everything attached. All I had to do was the applique. And this is the applique that I used. Um, I used my wood burner to cut the mesh off. This is me just playing around with the applique, putting on my mannequin, um, seeing what I like. Um, that excess piece that's hanging off, I ended up cutting, cutting that off. I um, didn't need it. And this is how she turned out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go like my post on Instagram, TikTok. She look really good. I'm going to um, try to do another sample because this dress is for sale. So I'm going to try to make one more. Um, I'm going to get a tutorial for that soon. But again, thanks for watching. Bye.